Detroit Urban Marshall Ballet here. I'm Blue Bacon. This is Braille Down, the founder of the company. Now, we're going to teach you some things about survivability. Let's say you're in a bar trying to enjoy a few glasses of apple juice, and someone comes in with a baton and they start waving it around. Perhaps they're hurting people. You want to be the hero. Put a stop to that. Now, for some reason, you decided that the best way to do that is to grab them in the chest. Look, it's, what, what are you, 50? It happens, impotence. I ran out of Cialis. Oh, it's the, because they're using it to treat COVID now. The blue pill, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're out. I thought getting a new Jaguar would help, but it didn't. It didn't help. There we go. Hey, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. What? Let's start again. For some reason, you've grabbed them in the chest, and perhaps they've been trained weirdly to bring you in closer by putting the baton against the elbow, putting their hand in underneath, and pulling you in. Now, it's not great, because if I was really thinking about struggling, I can still lift. If he puts in all of his weight, you'll notice that he's on his tippy toes. I'm actually lifting him up. I can still maintain control, but let's assume for this situation that I can't. Here's the problem with this. I still have another hand, good golly gosh, and I can strike him in the face. His hand, which would be used to block me, is now occupied by this baton. It's actually in his way. Additionally, when he brings me in, he's bringing my head into his nose, which I can then break with the top of my head and ooh woo, what's this? Notice his bulge, knee to the groin. He's now down. This is a stupid thing to teach people. It makes no sense the baton. It's designed to keep people at a distance. This is stupid. Can we, can we stop? My chest hurts. Yeah, I'm sorry. Hey, let's get you that medication. Yeah. All right.